Hey, Mr. Robinson, it was a pleasure speaking with you earlier. I'm sorry, I'm just now getting to your video. Um, now, you're probably asking me, like, why am I doing this and what's in it for me? Uh, so I found that many business owners like yourself are so busy with work that it's hard to figure out how the internet can help you and benefit your business. And so this video is just going to be showing you a couple different tools that you can utilize and you can, you can take them and do whatever you wish with them. However, if you want some help, you can just give me a call or text at my phone number. So I'm just going to jump right on in here. I wanted to provide you value up front because I know with a lot of digital, whenever it comes to uh, online digital presence, a lot of people don't really know who the expert is and who isn't. So if really this shows you to have a couple different tricks up my sleeve so that, um, you know, you can see that I'm a reputable guy. I'm not just like kind of screw people over. So uh, I got your service pulled up here, KPOC Tree Service. Pretty cool. I like the pictures. I like the pictures. You have some really awesome reviews, which is a really good thing. So like how I found you was I went to Tree Services in Durham. And let's see if we can find you here. Um, Hams, Grateful Trees, Durham, Dolly, Kpop. Okay, there you are, like on the bottom of the first page. So, um, <clears throat> so that's how I found you. Uh, now, whenever it comes to your online digital presence, Google. The reason why you're not at the very top is while you do have a good listing here. Um, if we go back and we were to find you right here, then you're not. I don't know if I can find you or not. Let's see. So whenever it comes to um, your online digital presence, if you don't have a website, there's no way for Google to direct people to to you. All right, so like you're not on the second page either. It doesn't look like. So um, the reason why uh, Google likes for people businesses to have a website is because it shows that um, you you're a reputable company. It shows that you know. Uh, what you know so that you're able to provide content for them so that they are able to make a wise decision and um, <clears throat> it gives a, it gives Google a way to direct people to where you are Google gets gets paid by doing advertising and so the more that people have on Google the more uh, advertise more money that they're able to make so they want people who have content to provide that much value to their customers so here's your service here's your competitor so I want to talk about three different things. First is content. And whenever it comes to your, your website, you know, if you decide to do one, content is a really important thing. So basically it should, the reason why Google wants that is because it shows uh, that you know what you know and that you're able to help your, again, help your customers make a more informed decision. So that's the first thing here. So the different types of pruning, mature, young, and specialty pruning. Another thing is backlinking. So this, that's all these different things right here. So um, basically, it's it helps build up the internal structure of the website of your website, so that people can find exactly what you do. Because if they don't know that if you do uh, stump grinding, or if they don't know that you do tree pruning, or if they don't know that you do tree felling, then there's no way for in order for them to know if you're if you provide the services for them. So whenever people go online and they look at okay, what type of residential services do you do? If you don't do um, like if you, if you don't do tree felling or stump grinding like these guys here, then people don't know. And so uh, it builds up the internal structure of your website so that people can find exactly what they're looking for in terms of your product or service. And the final thing is citations. I have this other tool I use here. So, okay, so I use this one tool. I'll tell you about this one first. It's called SQ. And so what I can do, I can run a diagnosis web page audit on their, on their website. And I can see exactly what they have. I can see their title, their meta description, meta keywords, their images, their text to HTML ratio, which means they have a lot of content. Right here, they normally say like you want they want at least 15%. So uh, another tool I use whenever it comes to citations is this right here. What is a citation? So a citation is um, it's another website that contains your business name, your business phone number. And your operating hours on different websites, kind of like Yelp, Yellow Pages, um, Angie's List, I guess. Uh, you also have Facebook, Instagram, all those different ones. So uh, you can see your competitors here. Barlet Tree Experts, the one that we were just looking at, he's your top competitor in your area. He has 25 of those citation sources. And so basically, what you do, I have this cool tool here where I can look at comparison. So Barlet Tree Experts, they don't have a Yelp account. And so we can maximize um, our 
citations so that other other websites are quote unquote referring us. And so here we can tell that we have a there, there's a ton of different websites that, that we can choose from to uh, maximize our visibility to other people. And it does help in terms of a trust factor for Google. Uh, that's another thing to look for is a trust factor. Like, do you are you worthy of having the domain, like the pr domain presence there in your area? And so, there's the uh, there's the comparison right there. It takes about twenty to thirty minutes to create each of these. Like, if you go on tomanta.com, it takes twenty to thirty minutes to set up an account and to um, just get everything set up so that you can get going. Also you have Yelp, uh, some of them you do have to pay for like Yelp.com, I think you have to pay for worldorgs.com you have to pay for, the buildermarket.com you have to pay for, so again that's just a couple tips for you. Um, hopefully you found that I have a lot of different tricks up my sleeve that can help you out. Um, if you found this information valuable you're free to ask me some questions or you can give me a call. My name is Brandon. You give me a text or call at 704-476-6223. Talk to you soon.